Hey everyone, it's the Unpro Pro here, and uh, this actually this is actually going to be a special episode on uh, how to make a good RPG. In this episode, I'm actually going to give you guys a few pointers and tips that you can use to improve your game. Step one is make sure you have creative name. There are name generators out there, which I do recommend using if you can't think of names. Another thing I really recommend is actually taking the time to give your character a background. Um, you know, don't just throw in some random character name, uh, Darboot, for example, without having a background of the character, such as where he was from, why he is who he is today, and around what time he was born as well. I recommend you spend at least an hour on each character, developing who they are. Uh, this is actually a method that I've learned by working with the group. Believe it or not, the developers actually spent hours and hours on each character um, that they're developing for the game. So I thought, you know what, that's a very good idea. I really think everybody should do this, so I thought I'd throw this in here. Another thing that you really should pay attention to is balance. Balance meaning like, okay, if you, say you have a warrior and then you have a mage, don't give the warrior almost the exact same magic attack as the mage. And vice versa, of course, you know, don't give the, uh, the mage an equal attack as the, uh, the warrior. Mages and magic type players and enemies should have a, uh, a less physical attack and defense and more of a magic attack and defense, whereas warriors should have less magic attack and defense, but more uh, physical attack and defense. So keep that balanced at all times, and you should be good on that part. Another really important thing that I think everybody should do is to add more states. Uh, states meaning like Currently, by default, you would have somewhere around like poison, paralyze, and stuff like that. I recommend adding stuff like frozen, burnt, and stuff like that. That, you know, it just adds to the whole, holy crap, this is a little bit different kind of feel. It's also really good to come up with custom skills and animations. Because, you know, it does get a little bit boring seeing the exact same skills and animations over and over again. Also, don't be afraid to add like a little bit of comedy into your game as well. Everybody loves a good joke here and there. Alright, so that's all I have for this episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see really good RPG Maker games made. If you have a game that you would like me to do a shout-out of, just send it uh, through a PM, and I'll get to it right away.